so I am trying to use the concealer in my um, Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. It's cream foundation and cream concealer to cover the bruise on my face. So far, so good. Nothing else has really worked. I feel like this whole side of my face is a little red and I probably probably should have mixed in some green but I didn't and this concealer is the same color as my skin and I'm just using my fingers to tap it out I would, I probably should have put on um, spray, a setting spray on my face before I put the concealer on, but I didn't, and I was too late, so what I need to do is just carefully apply my foundation. I'm using L'Oreal Infallible, and the color is Soft Sable, which I discovered on their website this morning is cool. And uh, I am not, but it was the best one they had in my store. I'm going to use the flat side of my, what's the name of this? Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. I have another one that I haven't opened yet, but I still have my Beauty Blender. I'm still trying to decide whether or not I'm going to cut it open like Stevie Miller did hers. Can you see... I wonder if I can point it out. Uh, right there. I don't know if I can make it visible. Let's see if I squeeze on it a little bit if it will be if it will be visible. Please focus. Maybe if I take my face out of the picture, will this focus? Can you see that dark thing right there? Stevie Miller recently did a video, yeah, that is it, right there. She recently did a video, now I needed to focus again, that black thing right there with the hole, where she cut open hers, and like there was something in it, and it totally freaked me out because I've noticed that uh, there's like a hard thing inside of mine, and I noticed that hole almost like immediately after I got it. But I thought that, you know, that it was human error. Like, it never occurred to me that there could be a problem. So I just kind of ignore it and live around the hole in the black thing in my beauty blender. And um, now that I have seen her video, I seriously want to get this foundation in my own color. It totally changes. Ugh. Anyway... It was the best one, and I really, really like this foundation. Um, there was like a bug or something, like a big moth with babies, or I don't know what inside of hers. Like it was some sort of huge bug, and she totally cut it apart on video, and the video went viral. And I was like, oh my god, I have the same thing with mine. And now, like a couple of people have commented to my comment on her video like you need to cut it open because I like posted a picture of my beauty blender with the thing on Google Plus or something and people have been like you seriously need to cut yours open but I like really really don't want to do that like I don't want to discover you know it's like how some people don't want to go to the doctor they're like you know if I have it I don't want to know I have it <laughs> whatever like they're going to live longer just because they don't know that they're that cancer or whatever it is um, I'm like totally bugged out by the idea of opening it up and discovering something. Like I just don't want to do it. So she did a chit chat video uh, recently and somebody asked her, you know, was she going to buy another beauty blender or whatever. She's using this real technique sponge now and she's like, you know, I don't know because the beauty blender is like a really good 
product. So uh, I am tomorrow going to go and buy a set of beauty blenders. But I still don't know if I'm like going to pull up my big girl panties and, and cut open mine and discover some nasty whatever. Like I just seriously do not have the cojones. I'm just going to keep it real with y'all. I just seriously do not. Um, so yeah, I am possibly living with some sort of dead thing inside of a product that I use on my face. And I heard, I don't use it as much as I used to anymore. Well, especially since I got these Real Technique sponges, which are awesome, by the way. But, um, but after watching her video, like... I hardly pick up my beauty blender anymore. So anyway, yeah. I got... I don't know what. Um, and she is in England. So clearly they weren't made in the same factory. And people were saying stupid stuff like her house must be nasty. She must have like rat roaches and mice in her in her home. That is like so stupid. Like her house is dirty and so a bug crawled inside her beauty blender and what that's just really dumb. It's just really, really dumb. I was like, I couldn't believe that I was actually reading that. But, like, somebody actually commented that on her video. And I was just like, first of all, you're making yourself look stupid. Second of all, if you don't have anything good to say, just don't say nothing. Really, just don't say nothing. Just... I really, really... That's like my one, if I have a pet peeve, that is it. I really, really don't like when people make nasty comments on people's social media. Like, I know that if you're posting things on, on social media, you're opening yourself up for the world to, you know, comment or whatever. But people are like, just really nasty and rude and they say things that if you were standing face to face with the person you wouldn't say that they just like get like real big giant hairy cojones just because there is anonymity with the internet and you know that the person can never meet you and punch you in the face and so you say these really nasty rude mean things i have seen the meanest things and i'm just like you have nothing better to do that you, i mean like that's how you are going to spend your time like i personally want to spend my time you know making my life better figuring out ways to make more money being a good mother to my children being a good wife to my fiance you know figuring out ways to cope with my health I got a whole lot on my plate other than sitting around making childish comments on people's social media and it just really I don't know I get like extra upset I don't like I've always been the type of person that fights for the underdog I don't like when people um bully people and it's it's so strange because adults do it too they like sit around and bully other adults on Twitter or you know Instagram or whatever and I've always been the type of person that I don't like when people um bully people. When I was younger, I need to turn the volume down. Oops, and now I just turned my ring tone like all the way. Well, that's the reason my ring tone was all the way down. Um, when I was little, there was a point in my life where people considered me the bully, but I was being a bully because um, I was, I had a really, really underprivileged childhood, and so that made me uh, a target for like all these mean things that children say and all you know my the way that I was living and my circumstances were completely outside of my control I'm a child I don't buy my own clothes I don't you know buy my own shoes I don't buy uh, hygiene items you know those are things for your mother to do and my mother was just she was not 
Um, she she tried her best. I'll just say it like that. She she did her best with the resources that she had, but we were really underprivileged, and um, so I kind of lashed out as a defense mechanism. I never just like intentionally walked up to somebody like you know give me your lunch money or anything like that, but like I beca became really aggressive when people said things to me, and um. And it, it was just because I didn't know how to protect myself. The things that were being said were really, really hurtful. And it was like all outside of my control. I can't fix any of these things no matter how much I would want to. So um, I've always been really, really sensitive to people bullying people because of that. And it's just, it's just really sad when I see adults on the internet like bullying other adults like seriously it's we're not in fourth grade people like why this is not a playground um if you don't like what somebody posts on their social media like you don't have to read it or oh my god you don't have to read it i like want to turn my notifications off right now you don't have to read it or um you know, or look at it, or whatever, unfollow the person, go find another, you know, there's entertaining stuff all over the internet for you to entertain yourself with, like, if somebody's, what they're posting, you don't like it, you don't have to say anything, just go on to the next person or whatever, so, I don't know, I was really, like, seriously... I was wondering how old the person was that that made that comment on her page in the first place like I always want to give it the benefit of the doubt and think that these are children but they could be like grown women who should know better on the internet talking about her house is dirty so that's why there was this thing in her beauty blender like I don't know That's how I feel about it in a long-winded, I can't even say in a nutshell, because I talk a lot. I know I talk a lot, but yeah. <laughs> I'm going to assume it doesn't bother you because you're still watching my videos. 